play Danger Tier. That's the same no guy. Way. Best yeah. deck. Love that. Super proud of both of you. Absolutely insane. Crazy games today. Now, before we get into the deck profile, really quick, do you have any shout outs? Yes, shout outs to my team, Luxury Gaming. Yes. Good luxury. Absolutely, doing the best, doing the most, super proud. And I Absolutely. heard that Luxury is going yes. to be posting a lot on YouTube moving forward. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Everyone, so. everyone yeah. should go subscribe to them. Yes, make yeah. sure you my do My profiles will be on there. Yes, Luxury is absolutely insane, doing really good stuff. Can't wait to see what they end up doing. Well, Jesse, we are not going to waste any time. Get right into this, show people, as they say, the I <laughs> <laughs> Best card in the game, please don't ban her. Oh my god, I hate No, She's ban gone. it, ban it, no. She's gone, you know, you know <laughs> No, I know, but I don't gone. want her to be. No, I, have, I, I want I one kept, world where I we kept, get her. Like, just please, I kept, you know, I promise, I said it played in every single deck since... Yeah, that's why you get card banned. banned. <laughs> no, no, we... But we I'm just going to well until this one, man. Uh, you max out because you want to yes. mill these and draw these. And they're all like good mills. I'll go, I'll go draws as well. Mm -hmm. It's probably the worst one, but it's fine. Yeah. Um, dangers. Mm. Heavy count. Yes, I'm very heavy. Um, so we're working with the deck with Bowden, who got second in Oceanics mm -hmm. last week. Yes. Our next grade of getting second. <laughs> um, he likes Chupacabra instead of Third Moth. I think Chupacabra is not that good. Mm. This gets discarded. We're fine. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's just good. You want to have a heavy danger count. These mm -hmm. are the best cards, only second at the field. And in the mirror uh, match, do you side out Mothman's? Uh, you side out, I side out uh, three or four dangers in the mirror, expecting a dweller. And also, I'm filling up with hand traps. So, like, obviously, using one of the worst dangers with four in hand is like, mm -hmm. not good, even mm -hmm. if you uh, don't get dweller. Mm -hmm. um, these cards are just really good. We tried with Les because like Bowden kept insisting that those were some of the worst cards. You had to actually use your tier monsters to deal with like the elf and everything, but these just force the battle phase so much it just makes them use their cards and then you can actually get your tier plays through and nothing they do matters anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. Graveyard effects. So for the same from last time. Mm -hmm. And then we upped the count. Uh, put one Gizmec in Rio. Now it's two Gizmec. Uh, this just helps you a lot because the pressure's toad. It can also beat out a dweller. Mm -hmm. And then like if they don't Get rid of it, like in the, by banishing it or putting it in a deck. You can bring it back again in their battle phase. Unless you just keep up, like sometimes live through their fields. Um, it applies a lot of pressure. It's really good. Another way to trigger uh, what's it called? Uh, Zero Boros. Mm. Curious is what? Yeah. These those curious standards are kind of weird. Like you can, but it's like not ideal because you. Don't if you already have snow. snow, then it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, very good card. I mean, 2450, 2450 is that line for free is so good. And yeah. it's versatile because it's a dark. You can pop cards. Uh, battle phase. It's honestly like the baby snow for me. Because it just keeps coming out of the grave by the player's turns. Uh, one jet. Uh, this is a lot worse this weekend because people are kind of off mine, but you want to have out of the Mystic Mind. This is the second out because it gets smashers. Um, and it can also give you some weird interrupts when you're in like grind games. Mm -hmm. And also uh, Dark for Blue add this. Yes. That came up a couple times for me. Like yeah. I mean, that, that's like honestly the biggest thing. Is you don't sign it out for sprite decks because of that. Uh, even though every other match from Saturday going second. If you uh, didn't made the jet, would you play the jet smasher just specifically versus uh, Sprite? Uh, like, I, we only don't side it out versus that. No, like, like, if you didn't play it, would you say it could be a side card for people that play tier limit but don't want to main it? I feel like it has to be better stuff for two cards. Uh, yeah. You yeah. might just yeah. make two it cards is, is half at that point. Yeah. I mean, like, you can argue to side it then, and then, like, have it as a Mystic Mine out when you go first, and then going second, you put it in versus Sprite. And that might be fine as well. Mm. Um, power spells. Bowden cut this card. I still think it's too good because you just let's you pull snow first. And he's not playing against Micro Desires so because he plays high spirits instead. Both are good, but I feel like the others are better into Dweller mm. um, and like better by themselves. Um, still a frequent side out if they're gonna Dweller you. I don't. I don't side this out because I feel like part of the way to beat Dweller if they do Dweller you is you put snow in the grave, you throw the Dweller, and you try to stay alive with the snow against Micro. So I don't side this out. Ever. Mm. Um, I think this card's still really good. Like some, it's not like the it's obviously a bad mill. It's not the greatest new dangerous in hand, but. I'm still very happy for someone to do this card. Mm -hmm. um, these are good. I mean, this card sucks, but I need to play it. <laughs> um, utility card. Yep. It's your back row mix up and it should beat Sprite a lot easier. It's like fine. I still go to the mirror. Uh, Silver High Spirits. Better than, the, better than Ink the Dweller. And can also just get you some high roll games. Uh, and with the Zero Barros, it's crazy. Broken. <laughs> eradicator. Uh, to play this spell canceler, this deck is Eradicator better because you're using your fours to make Dweller, and you don't have that many fours. You can like, you can force that many fours, but it's not efficient. It's not ideal. You'd rather keep good, like a strong field with good follow-ups is better. And Griffin's also just good because when you have the Elf pointing to Griffin, 
they can't use pride effects. They get, like, it forces them to commit a lot to start playing. When they're under dweller as well, and like you have to do other macro, it's very hard. Yeah. Um, so if I'm already going Griffin, that just makes sense. Um, I actually did not use it. People were really not missing mine. I played zero runic decks. I think I think one person played runic but didn't activate any runic cards. That's crazy. So. I don't think I ever resolved it when I set it off Griffin. I resolved it when I just drew it. I honestly never got to Griffin. I was just hand trapped for a long time. Oh, Griffin's insane versus uh, Extra Sister. If yeah. you guys start playing against it, it was like, mm. like this deck. The way you beat that matchup is if you go first, step one. Go well, first, you win unless yeah. they shift you. Yeah, like they, they have to shift for you, and that's basically all my losses this entire. Yeah, so that's mm. yeah. My losses were to Flunder and Extra Sister. Yeah, we shift. We lost no, shift both times are shifted. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so maybe like going forward, start siding more for Sheffler because that's something <laughs> that was so like scarce that it was like not worth siding a lot for. Oh well, yeah, of course. Uh, three Selic. So this is the oh. other change from Rio in the mm -hmm. main deck. Um, we added another one of these. Yeah, so the main thing from Rio is we, we took out the Dark Rulers for Gizmek, uh, for Nibiru, because it felt better in the mirror match. Uh, you, if they're not playing Apple because we haven't been prior, uh, you, hit, you hit their entire field, you win. Mm -hmm. um, and even with other stuff, can get you there. So it's the only chance of winning going second in the mirror, theoretically. Uh, and we added another Gizmek, added the Solik, because we have a lot more good graveyard effects, so the mills are even more impactful now. Uh, and this card is just really, really strong for the grind games. When you get in the brood as well, having this was having this, if you play so much your opponent's turn, because you have snow as well, mm -hmm. and then it actually becomes really hard for your opponent to like, capitalize off of the snow, to the point where if they're not playing a combo deck, they actually just don't be able to beat your board. Mm -hmm. um, and the grind games is really good, so... Yeah, and then milling it's nice because if you mill it, you add halfness, and then if you don't have the eradicator, you just Griffin set this as well. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. I like having the default to Griffin setting it because that usually just means that you're playing around Nibiru better or yep. just like having something after that point. And usually Griffins are so good on its own that you don't need to set anything, so just having a solid is high value already. Okay. And you discard for Reinhardt, discard for Dangerous, so it's not like it's stuck in your hand either. Like you want to draw it because it's good to set, it's good to discard. Yeah. And milling it's great. So on that logic, we'll play three. <laughs> it's great everywhere. Crazy. <laughs> Uh, should be pretty standard at this yeah. point for this type of deck. I don't think you need anything. No. The only time you play different versions is if you play the D3 as well, basically. D yeah, no D3, no brand high spirits. Uh, we're not playing the link version next even. Uh, Elves, so this is the other change. We cut two cards in the extra deck. We cut the redo and the IP. IP never came up. Uh, it literally just uses a bridge to make this most of the time. And I'd rather just have it be um, another, another like, actual good card. Uh, the only time IP would come up in theory is if they nibs you, you make Elf afterwards. You make IP and then turn the IP into Elf and then bring mm. back the, the, the IP. However, you're doing this early, so that doesn't work. But also, they should be just holding the Nibiru anyway. So that's just a scenario that I, I, the reason I played it for Rio, didn't exist. So that was a mistake. Uh, that's that you just do Elf into a Merly, make Gigantic, summon the Jet, then remake the Elf. Mm. Which doesn't come up a lot, but like when you get hand trapped a bunch, it does, and that's just worth it. Uh, and then sometimes in the grind as well. I mean, I think also when you're just playing that many sprites, the grind does matter a lot with that yeah. card. Like it just does a lot more when you have dark in your extra deck as well. Um, yeah, this is probably the fifteenth card. Mm. Uh, dark charmer, you need. It is so powerful to set up like more curious lines. Yeah. Or the best card. Uh, so this, this was the change. Um, obviously, Nibiru is really against this deck. It's not game, but it is strong. Um, and especially if opponent's not playing around it well, it just destroys them. So, so Zek has a weakness to Nibiru. It's not game ending, but you still want to have a countermeasure for it when you don't have a choice. Sometimes you should go this over Griffin. Um, or going for lethal shots, that you like play the kill from Nibiru as well, safer. Um, it's very good. Uh, before, like it doesn't come up a crazy amount, but with Nibiru is so popular now, it does. Yeah. That'd be I played it. It does mean Griffin gets summon less though, and Griffin is a very good card. Um, it's like it, both effects are so good, that's so mm. good. It's worth playing. This card, um, you almost never use the advantage effect, although sometimes you do. I use my feature twice to clear the field. Honestly, mostly just 10k is so hard to deal yeah. with. So, just good. Um, those are the links. Uh, gigantic for the Eradicator play mm -hmm. and for the Jet Smashers play. And then, this or Curious, best card in extra deck. Yeah, but this, this should, like, Curious, you can argue if it gets banned. Like, if Snow gets banned, Curious probably doesn't need to. This probably should get banned the other way. It's, it's been a problem for a while. I mean, it's one of the few things that handles. I just don't like lingering blanket like effects. Yeah, you can't answer. Well, it's been bannable since it was printed, but like, yeah, I think of the things we can complain about. Well, it's probably not the one. No, I'm gonna complain about the Sure, okay. You'd rather have that banner instead of snow, of course. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for Reaper, this card is fine for me. Um, the figure dweller is the biggest thing in the, in the side for the mirror. So you hit the dweller versus hand trap deck. You're playing a slower game. You hit Kalos versus um, Sprite. You can hit these. Like, which is the point we considered you can main deck it because the 
you can even like normal summon it or fuse it because it's a dark level three and it's a zombie as well so it's different than uh your other types are curious um obviously we didn't because the is just way higher impact but it was solid for me it wasn't crazy i didn't win every game i played it um but it did help um, i used it in top four against dom is pretty good hit elf in this tier mirror because he had a weird hand that was that was yeah, not expected. What's the cool thing about that card and like the tier mirror? It's just so flexible. It's flexible, it like, yeah. any engine. I actually use it like twice, like as a draw off a danger on my own turn. Because you play so much on each other's turns with Salix and Poly Hobness. So that's, that's actually cool. Uh, it's not like a card you just can't use going second either. Um, one of my favorite cards. I'll play it almost every single deck. Yeah. It's just Psalm Strike going second. Like, I'll still never so recover from your Gamma Nib, costing me top four in it's, Brazil. I'm it's sick. high rolly, but it's so powerful that it's just yeah. worth playing it. Uh, Especially it combi so combined good. with other hand traps as well. Yeah. I, There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> what? So. Oh! Unironically? This card is actually really good at oh, the Bobby's tier mirror. Bobby's from Twitter too. Look, I really want to hear this. Why? <laughs> when you combo in the mirror, <laughs> You get like 30,000 life points, especially when they have the field spell up, because then it's every fusion and tiers an extra 500. It just becomes the point where you can outlast the dweller. Or like they just, <laughs> your ashes win the long game. And you're gonna have to grind. You just pass for two especially turns? If they, well, you just force out the dweller a bit, you play a little bit, Yo. and then it's just really hard. It, oh my god. I, I only used it once in time. Every single other time I used it, it won me the game, and it was like 40 minutes, like 30 <laughs> minutes left in the round. And it was one because they didn't, like, also. <laughs> So this probably gets worse when people know how to prepare against it. Mm -hmm. But at this tournament, like you play it, they're like, what the hell? Especially with 30 minutes left. I mean, fair, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, don't know what to do. They kind of like aren't, aren't sure. And like it forced them to go away from their like pre yes, predestined yes, plan yes. and think on the fly. And if people aren't experienced or like good with the deck, like top notch, that's when they can make mistakes. So I had opponents like making very half assed fields. Mm -hmm, a person mm -hmm. to end on drag used to peel it past. Yeah, and I gained like yeah. I gained eight thousand. Oh, yes. He gave me eight thousand life because he like, did this yeah. cycle kick colors. It made Stabilia, and that was like crazy because now like he spent like five minutes doing that. So twenty five minutes left. He's down game one, <laughs> and like and now I'm at sixteen thousand, and he has just Stabilia. Like it's just Jeez. It's so so stacked against him at that point. That's wild. Um, and then obviously it gives you a shot going second as well. Yeah. When you're going to game three, it's five minutes left. If they have the red resonators, or whatever, you can use this, and now they're forced to pass. You can actually play your turn. Oh my god. Um, I really, when this card came out, I thought it was one of the worst cards I've printed. Yeah. Not the worst card, but like a card that would never see play. Yeah. It'll be very fringe. I can't believe I actually put this in my deck and it was so good. <laughs> 2022 has been a wild time. Uh, more yep. life gain. Yeah, because you know, this isn't enough, you know. It has high, <laughs> high attack points. Could destroy Toad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's uh, Red Reboot. Yeah. Best yeah. back removal card. Yeah. So then the other change from Rio was swapping out Cyc God Cyclone for Cosmic Cyclone. Mm. Just because of Runic. When they have Mystic Mine up, you can't Cyclone the Mystic yeah. Mine because they change Runic card. Mm. So this is, I think, worse to everything else. But it's better versus Runics. And I, even though I played none, it's better to have the coverage. Um, would it have made a difference for me? Uh, I maybe would have. I made a misplay that caused the draw in my round seven. Or was it round six? One of those rounds. Um, so I should have won the game anyways, but also if I just had this instead of Cyclone, I could have won the game. It's so minuscule though. Like, I don't think it still would have gone to a game three at that point. So you told me earlier that your losses were to Existors and to Flunder. So would you put more cards in your side deck specifically for those decks? It's honestly just shifter for the most part. Like even going second against those decks, like I could have played both times and it was very close. But the Flunder guy shifted for me three turn ones in a row, which was rough, and I still almost won. Um, but you can't. Uh, and then Exorcister, it's just shifted like. He went first game one, he had the full setup, and if my hand was a little better, my mills were better, I still could've won the game as well. Um, my hand wasn't great. Uh, and then game two, it's just shifter. So maybe more for them, maybe it has to be more for shifter, but there's not really much you can do. Like cross out for shifter, it'd be pretty toxic. It's a 40% chance in the draw, and it's also a rare matchup, so it's yeah. not worth it. The only thing I would argue doing is putting a call by the grave in, because that's mm. something we thought was pretty bad for danger cards. Um, having it exclusively for shifter would be like, the only yeah. thing I could see. Yeah. Um, there's no other like good cards to actually put in for shifter. I mean, like if you put in the gamma for it, but that's just so bad. Mm -hmm. like, uh, I didn't versus Ray. I've done a couple times because it took my money real danger. I didn't versus Ray die in the finals. I saw him playing around it in top top eight, and then he didn't play around it in, in finals. And like, damn. I drew the costume as well because I was putting either of these in, mm -hmm. and I saw this yeah. hand, and it would have been this. Would have been nice. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's all right.
Uh, that's the deck, yeah. Again, <laughs> shout outs to Luxury Gaming, uh, Sala with the deck with me, as well as Bowden Temnik. Um, he unfortunately went X2, got 35th, sucks a lot. But and they also got second last week's Oceanics. Yeah. We played a slightly different deck list, but a lot of theories changed and similar ideas for the most part. Mm. And everyone's still proud of you nonetheless. You did absolutely yeah. amazing, and don't worry, first place is coming sometime soon. I can feel it. But there's a few. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, yeah, you're, you're doing just fine, but. And he needs it more. Oh, Damn. Oh my God. I won mine. Where were you? Oh, I needed my God. You. oh my God. All right. Well, thank you, you saw. We can watch the feature match. You can see I have no chance. Oh my God. Well, thank you, Sorry. Jesse, for having me for a while.